Danny Herrera at the California State Fair, and today I'm with... Tom Torlickson. And you are the superintendent here? Superintendent of public instruction for all 10,000 California schools. Yeah, how long have you been the superintendent? Three and a half years, and I was a teacher and coach for 25 years before that. Okay, do you have any thoughts about California State Fair activities? Well, I think it's fantastic to have the State Fair is focusing on technology, on skills, on employment opportunities, career pathways. And so this is a really special day to see students firsthand from all over the state uh, sharing their creativity, their artwork, their engineering, uh, their enthusiasm. And, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, like what education you had? Well, I enjoyed high school in a district near San Francisco, but I wanted to see the world and do more hands-on learning. So I joined the Merchant Marine, sailed to Vietnam and Guam and Anahuitoc and Alaska on tankers and ships. But I did that so I could learn more about how to build things, construct things. And then I became a teacher, science teacher, and did that for many, many years and coached for 25 years cross country and track. And then later went into the Senate and Assembly and got elected now state superintendent. But I've had a great career and my college education was really important. I encourage all students to really aim to get good skills in high school, get your degree, get your high school diploma, but then go on and get a college degree also. It helped me a lot. I did community college and University of California at Berkeley. I, I hope uh, we can have a follow-on conversation for maybe a project that on Native Ground could take on to tell the history of the indigenous people, the tribes of different parts of California. So when we study the Native Americans in the social studies curriculum in California, people can find out about which tribes lived in their own area in every part of California and have a digital history of that. To show me this studio. I'm really impressed with what you guys are doing. So we have students from Grant Union High School, Franklin High School. We have 14 students from Franklin High School, five from Orange Grove, 13 from Consumus Oaks, we have um, even a couple 10-year-olds, so we have oh, wow. younger kids as well. Um, one from Alitha Donner Elementary, a student from Rio Americano, Bella Vista, Roseville, Grant, five from Natomas Charter PFA, that's where I go. Um, a student from Christian Brothers, a student from Mira Loma, Creek View Ranch Middle School, Davis Senior High, Mesa Verde, San Juan, John F. Kennedy, and then we even have um, students that these programs have helped them get into schools like UC Santa Cruz, Sac City, CSU Northridge. We have two students this year that are actually going to CSU Northridge next year. Um, students that are doing programs in American River. Um, Nick here is actually going to UCLA next year. Good for you, Nick. And then we have a student going to San Diego State University. Awesome. Yeah. It uh, doesn't matter where you came from, you're here with a common purpose and on native ground. Um, so here at the Safer Film Crew, um, we have lots of different ways for students to really learn about the whole editing and production process. Um, uh, starting from pre-production, uh, kids learn how to kids learn how to uh, pre-produce, get products together. Um, they really get to be more outgoing, uh, talk to people they don't know, and really um, break out and from a more like classroom setting into a huge like real world setting, which is huge. It's one of the biggest appeals to me. Um, for the actual production process, kids can learn how to use cameras no matter how much experience they have. Um, there is sound equipment. Um, they use new equipment and they really learn how to get the best sound quality from external thing and also from the camera. Um, there's also producing and directing. Um, I'm a producer and director myself. Um, that's my forte. Um, I've really learned a lot on how to become a better producer, to be more outgoing and really talk to other, other people and get projects rolling. Um, doing whatever it takes to get the best, best shoot possible and make the best product. Um, there's also people who have um, done a lot of editing too and post. Um, people have learned to use new programs. Uh, we use Final Cut Pro 7, uh, Final Cut Pro 10, and also Adobe Premiere uh, CS4 and CS6 for some of us who bring their own computers. Uh, it's really just a great way to learn new effects. Um, I use, I've used all those programs in the past so I really like have a grip on everything, but there are students who are just learning for the first time how to use these programs, and it's just amazing to see how fast they improve. Uh, this real world, world setting is amazing, which, I mean, in a program for youth students to work at a California at the California State Fair or any fair or any real world setting, it's just amazing. It's it's uh, there's really no other 
um, level of uh, participation for students um, at this like at such a professional stage. And I'm very uh, very thankful to have the opportunity to, to mentor my fellow it's peers. Fun. It's very fun. I love it. At the State Fair, you have a fun day. At the State Fair, you want a funnel cake? It's at the State Fair. We at the, we at the, we at the State Fair. At the State Fair, you have a fun day. At the State Fair, you want a funnel cake? It's at the State Fair. We at the, we at the, we at the State Fair. Yeah, we've been waiting all year for the State Fair, for the State Fair.